Okay, I think I think we're live now. Let me know uh, if you guys can see and hear everything okay, because YouTube totally changed their live stream interface thing, and I I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. It's totally new, uh, and I don't I, I, my stream key changed, so I had to update all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's working. Uh, it looks like we got 47 people watching, which is awesome. And I see myself in the preview box, so that looks good. And I'm going to try to keep my eye on the chat, but I had to move things around on my screen, so my chat is now, like, way off to the side. Maybe I can move it over a little tiny bit. That might help. So how's everybody doing? Everybody got plans this New Year's Eve? Final New Year's Eve of the decade, I suppose. Trying to get myself organized here. My office is a mess. Okay. Cool. All right, so I don't really have something specific and grand planned for this stream. I figured it's New Year's Eve. I got a couple hours to spare before I'm going out. So I'm going to do a little bit of a live stream and uh, hang out with you guys for a little bit. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to do on the P&B. Um, aside from, you know, finishing it, I've been going through and updating everything uh, in the previous areas. And I've been getting a lot of help from my friend 44 Willies MB. You guys have seen him in the chat here and on my Discord. Uh, he's been helping me out quite a bit with... Um, Wow, this music is way loud in my ears. He's been helping me out a lot, updating a lot of these assets um, throughout phase one. So I'll show you what I mean. He's also been adding and revising some areas for me. He's doing a lot of this tedious stuff that I just don't have time for. Uh, so I'll just show you. If anything starts lagging out or something like that, let me know. Because I'm not, again, everything's a little bit arranged differently on my screen here. So I might miss it. Um, but he has been a huge help. Uh, updating a lot of this stuff that I just don't have time for. Um, and uh, I was just trying to get to some areas to show you. He, he's the one who installed this whole uh, Steam Tourist Excursion Museum thing, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, he did a really nice job with that. Um, and of course, I've been trying to like integrate some other things into the area, but he's been adding details and uh, and things like that that... Um, maybe I overlooked or I just don't have the time at the moment right now to, to try to complete. Um, all right. So one of the things that I've been working on too recently, when I say I'm trying to update some stuff around the PNB, um, I was never really happy with how Allegheny turned out. So I've been working really hard around, uh, downtown Allegheny to try to make it a little bit more cohesive and look a little bit better. Um, so the addition of the Union Station here, plus the, the Rail Museum, uh, that really changes the whole look of the area for, for one. Um, but one of the main things that's been driving me nuts, of course, uh, are the roads. So there's a real train coming by outside. Uh, so I've been going through and getting rid of all of the spline roads and replacing them with my handmade roads. And of course, this is extremely tedious to do. It's just Jersey Transit, nothing special out there. Um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to add some fancy intersections uh, like this one here. I've been just sort of experimenting around and just seeing how I can do it and uh, what it looks like and how long it takes and that sort of thing. Of course, as soon as I start live streaming, I start getting text messages, phone calls, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm trying to get rid of all the spline roads and I'm replacing them with all these handmade roads. And I really, I love the look. I mean, I really, really love the look. And for me, as I had said in one of my videos lately, uh, it's like a, it's like a relaxing thing for me to do, to do this sort of stuff. I, I don't really know why, um, maybe because it's kind of tedious and, and whatever, but uh, the look is just a million times better. So I've been coming around through Allegheny and uh, slowly moving some buildings around and trying to actually finish the city because it just doesn't, it never really looked good to me. Like when I, when I got to this part of the build, I was like done. I was so burnt out. Um, and I'll admit it, I threw it together. I really did. I threw it together very quickly and I was just sick and tired of it. And I wanted to just be done with it. Uh, and it was my first release. So I wanted to just get something out and get it done. I mean, from this low perspective, it does look pretty good. It's got this nice skyline and everything. Um, 
I'd like to get some other buildings in the game. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, actually. Uh, I am going to be bringing in some new assets into the game in 2020, but I'm going to talk about that soon. Um, let me just take a peek over at the chat here. 70 people watching right now. How's everybody doing? Thank you for joining me today. Let's switch that back up. Uh, so let's see. Let's fly around a little bit more. I'm not sure what else I'm going to be adding into Allegheny because, as you can see, like, it's it's already a little bit framey for me. I mean, I'm live streaming right now and I'm running all this stuff, so it's going to... My computer is a little bit more strained than normal, but I don't want to populate it so much that the average user is going to come in here and just have a hard time playing it or it's just not going to be playable. So I'm trying to balance, as always, um, what like a high degree of detail and what I want to put into the map versus, you know, keeping it somewhat performance oriented. Uh, so I've been doing that. Uh, one of the things that uh, Willius has been doing for me uh, is improving some of the assets that I used, some of the uh, ground textures, and he's been updating some of the trees, uh, grasses, and ground textures, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way that it's turning out. Um, one of the things that he just completed just this past weekend is over here. He's uh, updated all of the crops here to, um, to splines. So there's actual vegetation here now, and man, does it... Ah, it shines, man. It really it makes a world of difference. If we come down here to these farms, it just looks so, 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 so much better. Something I should have done to begin with. I don't know why I didn't, but uh, that uh, it, it, it makes such a huge difference. So he's been going through and, and doing this kind of like laborious things that, that I just skipped over. <laughs> yeah, he's also added some AI controls here so that when the, the AI trains come through, they'll actually blow their horns at the crossings and sound their bells and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's a lot of fun. Um, let's see what else I could show. He has updated a few things over at the oil factory or oil refinery. Uh, this whole town, like old town, I need to, I need to upgrade, update myself. Um, there's a lot of like little fine things that I'd, that I'd like to change, um, but he's added a bunch of stuff in here. A few few details. He's changed out the road textures that I used in here with um, the more modern ones, the S Myers textures, which I'm using for everything now. Um, he also reactivated one of the spur tracks here, which I had as an abandoned track, and he reactivated it and uh, set it up to be, uh, I think he said a um, barreling facility. I think that that's what it is. So if he's in the chat, he'll be able to to clarify for me. Um, okay, let's see. Somebody was asking what the splines were. Let me, let me take a look. Let's go back over here. For some reason, my game lately has been taking a lot of time to load, like, assets, and I get the little thing at the top that says, like, compiling shaders and blah, 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 so I don't know what's going on there. Um, let's see. Let's open this up. So these are JVC corn splines, if anybody was curious. Ah, love, love coffee. Um, so let's see, what else, what else can I talk about here before we start getting into doing some building? Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, updating these crops and updating these assets to more modern things has been a huge help because when I, as you guys probably know, if you've been with me for a while, I started on this route uh, well, at this point, I guess it's been like 11 years, 10 or 11 years, because I definitely started it in Trains 2009. Um, and I have versions of it still within here. Every year I save like a new version of the game, so now we're working in uh, the Trains, what did I call this, 2020. Uh, so every year I change it. I've got a Trains 2019 or a PNB 2019, a 2018. I've got it every year as a different version. Uh, and I like doing that so I know like what's what. Especially when I have like a huge... Uh, folder of, of saves, of backups and stuff like that. It helps a lot. Uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I've been at this map for a really long time, so a lot of the assets that I used in here um, were kind of outdated, but I was sort of stuck with them unless I wanted to go back and revise a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so he's been going through and uh, updating a lot of those assets with some of the things that, um, you know, assets that I use like on the deep ev and what I'm using on the Rochester build and that sort of thing. So that's the idea there. Uh, and we're going to be adding more and more stuff as time goes on. One of my goals here um, is to expand out 
the PNB a little tiny bit. For example, like this section here is only one baseboard wide. And when I built this, I just, I didn't want to waste my time detailing background stuff because you guys know how I am. I'm just going to detail the heck out of it and it's going to be a waste of time really. Um, but now that I've been working on this for a long time and then I did the debev and I'm working on the Rochester build, I kind of would, would really like to have some deeper scenes here. So I'll be working on trying to expand the scenes, make them a little bit deeper. Um, I'm slowly removing some of these old buildings that are a little bit bright, a little bit funny looking with uh, some new JR buildings and all that kind of stuff. Uh, probably put some more buildings on this side and maybe move the mountain back a little tiny bit. Things like that. Uh, but I'm trying not to spend a ton of time back on phase one because I'm never going to get the rest of the route done. Uh, and by the way, we are looking at the whole... Uh, the whole thing. This is the whole map. Um, this section is totally incomplete and is probably just going to be deleted, but there will be a branch that comes out. Uh, and I see I'm circling with my mouse and then you guys can't see it. Uh, so this little like hook piece here, I will be removing it, but I'm going to be rebuilding it. It's just a complete disaster and I had no idea what I was doing. It's not even worth trying to salvage. So I'm just going to start that section totally fresh um, and, uh, and go from there. Um, but right here is Allegheny. This is where the phase one ended. And then we're working on the rest of this. Um, there was something else I was about to mention and it just slipped my mind. Oh, somebody was asking about Mill Creek. We can come up to Mill Creek. So Mill Creek is another place that needs to get reworked like big time. Um, this mine facility here is so dated and so ugly and i have i've hated it since the, the day i added it um but really didn't have any other choice for a large coal facility and i don't really know enough about these things to scratch build one or you know from different pieces in fact this is probably completely inaccurate as it is um and pretty much everything else that's out there was like this sort of scale like smaller things so i wanted a nice big dominating complex and this is the one that existed uh, once another asset shows up one day, uh, it will be replaced. This whole area will be reworked. Uh, but Willie's was also going through and kind of finishing the town a little tiny bit. Of course, there's tons of traffic on these roads right now because I just spawned into this area. Uh, but he added this cemetery over here in this church, which is pretty cool. I think he tidied up Main Street a little tiny bit, added some other houses, and some other details. It's awfully smoky over here. It's all that coal they're burning, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so it's looking pretty good. The the new trees that he's putting on here, I think this is one of the new ones. JVC TR4 Oak. So they look pretty good. It looks like they're like 3D trees, but that they're kind of also... They're not speed trees. They're still very billboardy, uh, but they look a lot better. Let's get on the sunny side and take a look. So he's been replacing a lot of the billboard trees that I had on here with those. I think this might be another new one. Let's see if we can grab it. Yeah, another JVC tree. So definitely really helpful things. I, I'm not ready to, to make the plunge and go to all speed trees for this route because it's just, it's going to be too much. Uh, and somebody asked about the, um, uh, what are you asking here? Uh, somebody's asking about the red asphalt sign. Yeah, I'll bring that up in a second. Somebody was asking about the turntable. NSW turntable. I think this one's built into the game. Just a basic turntable. Uh, the road... I think my mic is in a weird spot. Uh, the road asset that we used on the DBEV... I think it's just called Red Asphalt. Let me, let me look. Yeah, I think... This is it. It um, It's showing up white down in the Kuid box there, so I think it's built into to Tain. That's it right there. So hopefully that answers your question there. Uh, is there a Steam excursion on the PNB? Yes, but I haven't really worked out the details of how it's going to work, so uh, I'll kind of leave that to you guys' imagination. Uh, some more sidings on the PNB. Yeah, that probably couldn't hurt. I've definitely thought about that as well. And, I mean, the only passing siding that's really on this route is right here, and it's barely a full passing siding. Um, but I guess that's sort of what makes it a little bit more challenging. You have to think about how you're going to operate your trains. 
Um, but yeah, I'll have to take that into consideration. Um, but let's go back over to Allegheny. And try to decide what we're going to work on today. And let everything populate. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with my game. Like lately, it's it's been really having a hard time like loading in the assets and and getting things to stream in properly and, and build the world. I don't know if it's my hard drive or if it's the game or if it's because I've got too much stuff. I'm not really sure. Um, somebody's asking, what is the name of this route? This is the Pennsylvania Berwind. You can get it over on Jointed Rails website. The route is free, but there's a content pack that is like 30 bucks or something, 40 bucks. And the content pack includes sessions. It includes the locomotives that go with it, which are these guys over here. GP, what, GP7s, GP9s, GP38s, a uh, whole bunch of other stuff. Um, okay, so let me think for a moment here. I'm not feeling very focused today, to be honest. So we could do, actually, I think I want to start working over at the paper mill, because I'd like to get some more of that scenic. So let's get started there as a warm-up. <laughs> and then if we're feeling ambitious, we'll go back over to Allegheny and do some, some detailing over there. 74 people hanging out. Nice. Good stuff. Let me switch this back over so I could see OBS. All right, so what do we want to do? I don't want to spend too much time. I'm sure you guys are sick of watching me like build roads. Um, but so I'm going to try not to spend a ton of time doing that, but we are going to do a little bit of road spline building. Um, somebody's asking, how is the traffic generated without spline roads? You can get traffic like invisible roads. Um, let's see if I can bring one up. So you can grab these invisible roads that have traffic on them. We'll see if it'll spawn anything. I think there's some JR ones that are pretty decent. And then I think there's traffic generator pieces too. I don't know, weird, weird things like that. Uh, there are some, I'd have to dig for them. So something like this. So you get traffic on there, but when you load up the when you load up the route in driver mode, these go invisible, so you can't see any of it. So let's just get rid of that. All right. So first thing that I want to do here is fix this road because it's a little bit too wide. So I want to make it a little bit more narrow, at least around this bend. Either that, or I guess I can make it a couple lanes. Maybe we'll do that. Let's make it four lanes or three lanes. There's some other stuff too. Oh, I wanted to show you guys um, something else that's new. Where do I have it? These right here. So, uh... The same guy at JR who made all these really great road markings, uh, Felix is his name, he's making uh, these, which are really awesome, uh, spline arrows, like turning lane things. And I think he's got plans for a whole bunch of other stuff. So all these, and they're splines, so they actually sit flat on terrain, uh, which is really great. So let's get rid of that. But I figured I'd show that off. Uh, so let's see, what did I say I was going to do? I wanted to break this up a little tiny bit. So I think I've, I'm always looking for like little shortcuts to, to make building roads or whatever easier, and I found that if you line up the, the circle of the spline uh, to the edge, 
it's sort of just the right width for a road. So if we grab a car... I haven't measured it. Again, like, I do a lot of things that are just sort of eyeballed. Um, or I'll do something like this where I just compare it. But as you can see, if you line up your spline points the way that I did, where you've got it sort of right on the edge there... Let me grab it. This is the one that I'm talking about. Kind of line it up with the edge of the, the yellow line and then the white line. You get a pretty decent size uh, lane. So that has been how I've been doing it. And it's, again, it's kind of eyeballed. But it works. It works fine. So we're going to make that into two, two lanes. And we can continue this on. Hey, Swirly Trains. How's it going, man? Welcome. You're already in 2020, aren't you? Aren't you in Australia? It's already next year over there. Let's see, I want at least two lines there. What did I screw up over here? I moved something then I didn't mean to. Or I didn't didn't undo it. There we go. So this could be kind of a big road. And then we'll break it off. Like, blending spline roads and non-spline roads is going to be a bit challenging. I think I, I have some ideas about how to do it, like, in a decent way. Um, so I'll share those with you. But, again, everything that I do is a little experimental. And uh, I'm trying to figure it out as I go, too. And we're going to need a little piece of straight. Actually, we might be able to just carry this all the way up to here. Also, a lot of times what I'll do is uh, to get lines that are totally straight, like in over like long distances, I just draw it across, like right here, for example. I draw it across the tracks, but I'm going to come in and then just break it with the, uh, whatever you call this, spline point tool, and then just delete that middle piece. And then that way it still lines up on either side. It's a lot easier than trying to Oops, I hit it too many times. Trying to like eyeball exactly where it needs to go and whatever. Do that. This needs to be straight. But I've said this a million times. I kind of really wish the spline points were a little bit smaller so I could see a little bit better. All right. I'm going to move that a little bit. And the other thing that's really helpful is if you keep all of your spline points together, when it comes to going like around a bend or something like that, they will, uh, it'll all match up for the most part. If you do it right. And this one looks a little funky. It's not bad. Might have to open my window. It's getting toasty in here with the sun beating down. And then I got my computer spewing out tons of heat. And I've got a light. I don't. Obviously, you can't tell, but there is a light above my computer I, I got to uh, help combat the, the brightness over here so that you can actually see me a little bit better and I'm not just like a silhouette. Hopefully, it helps. Looks like it's helping in my, in my webcam there. My preview looks good. But, all right, so that, that's looking okay. Might want to move that a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to tell exactly if it's right or not. Oh, I need a straight piece in here. That's what the problem is. I gotta find the end of it. There we go. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a weird... There we go. There was like a weird spline point in there. So we'll drag that back a little bit. Alright, that looks a little bit better. I 
So again, like I said, I'm gonna try to not spend too, too much time doing roads, but this one was kind of bothering me a little bit. What I'd like to do is fill in the uh, the track or the, the space between the track and the road here. Um, add a little bit of scenery and dress it up a little bit. So I think I wanna try to do that next. I like how this area is turning out though. Like if you kind of, if you get down real low and get into the scene, it's super nice. Like it's, it's super, super nice. So I'm really, really happy with how that's turning out. And I don't know, like for some reason I've just been in this mood lately to do like a big complex, like a something like this. That's just one big facility that I could focus on for a while and detail out and just run pipes all over the place and roads and parking lots and just like really make a, a sprawling complex. Um, all right, so let's see if we can work in some stuff here. So maybe we'll add some busted up concrete around here. I want to have like this old building. Out of service type thing. Maybe it used to be an old warehouse. So we'll start here. I'm loving these textures, man. This S Myers. If you're if you're watching S Myers, there's my camera. If you're watching, like these these textures are excellent. Keep keep making stuff, man. Keep it up. I love it. Um, all right, let's see. It's so bright in here. I can't <laughs> I can't see my screen properly. It's all right. First world problems. So we'll throw some of these down. Probably throw up a fence as well. that out a little bit all right let's see we need oh look at that I managed to use the get tool and get exactly the right asset that I wanted to click on it's so rare that that ever happens so rare all right so we're gonna uh, line that up like this Actually, what I'm going to do is turn the contextual information back on. Where is that interface? I want to turn that back on so I can actually see where the, the spline points are on the track as well. So that way I can keep it because there's like a little bit of a curve here. So I want to try to match that or at least, you know, keep it from looking a little weird. All right. Oop. We probably have some kind of like a gate or something like that here. I'm just trying to rough this in right now. Go up this way. And then we'll sort of dial it in. And we could even put... Uh, maybe like a, an abandoned track in here too might be kind of neat. Actually, let's do that for sure. Let's um, let's grab one of these. If you guys don't have this asset, you should go download it right now. AC loading dock. Uh, so it's it allows you to basically add loading docks to any building that you want. Um, so it's got the there's different sizes with different amounts of doors, different lengths. Uh, so super, super useful to take a building like this that doesn't actually have a loading dock and add one. So let's the rotation on this 282.7. I'm not going to be able to match that. So I like doing this kind of stuff. Adds, adds a little bit of history uh, to the area. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to fake some stuff here. I'm not sure how we're going to do it exactly. Hmm. Actually, I don't like that one. Where's the cement one? We'll do this one. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but what, what I'm noticing here is, like, once we get this into place, sort of into place, 
Uh, the problem with doing this is that unless you have like a blank side of a building, you've got some weird, weird stuff going on there. Like these windows are kind of chopped off. So maybe what we could try to do, it might not work. We might have to just abandon this idea, but I want to try it on an experiment with something here. I think we could try to get like a brick wall and hide it. Or some kind of a wall. Um, let's see. Brick. Because what we could do is try to take something like this and put it put it in there, you know, to, to disguise it. Uh, but let's see if we can find something that looks appropriate. Like, this might actually work. I'm kind of gambling here. But the gamble, it might pay off. This looks like an old asset. <laughs> it's got this red line on the bottom. Oh, uh, man, I remember all those. They used to have that way back in the day. Okay, so we might might be able to work. Might be able to make this work. Let's get it to that height. We'll match the height on both sides. Okay. I think that this could do the job. So let's do this so that it makes more sense. Let's bring it to there, and then we can move this down a bit. And I think I want to adjust the height on that spline as well. Final stream of the decade. But that sounds like... Oops. That doesn't sound good. That sounds sad. So it's actually what we want to do is go up with it a little bit more. Maybe we can hide the... The window frames? I don't know. Maybe this won't work. Or maybe we need to try it with a different asset. But like I said, this is a lot of my time, and I, this is, I don't include this stuff in the video in my videos because it takes a tremendous amount of time and it's very tedious. But this is this is what I do quite quite often, where I'll sit here and just be like, okay, well, let me try to come up with a solution to this weird problem that I created for myself. Okay, the brick wall does work, but we're still cutting off the windows here. So we could just see what happens if we do this. Is there like a happy medium in here? No. Maybe what we do... We could always try putting the platform down on that side too. And that might work because this... The big old window, loading window there, is kind of messing things up a little bit. But we might need to move the building, too. Hmm. What do we do? Alternatively, we could try this. What's this one look like? I just want to see if there's any other brick walls. I kind of like that one, so we might try to deal with it. That's a nice wall, too. I like that one. But it's not going to work on this particular building, I don't think. CL has some really nice assets, too. I like the CL assets. Uh, I don't know if I'll find anything that's going to match. Retaining wall. I think I went on the I went on the DLS and just downloaded absolutely everything from CL. Can you, you guys can hear the music, right? That, that's coming through my... My headphones. Oh, what's this one? This one might be better because it's a little bit more plain. Uh, let's just move this one out of the way because it doesn't have that white top. So that might be that might be good. All right, let's try it. I don't know if that... Did, did that change the height on anything? There it goes. 
Kind of weird, it didn't look like it moved. This one I might be able to layer too, which would be nice. I got a good feeling about this one. All right, that's not bad. So let's try something here. Oh, that's the fence. Let's go up a bit higher. And uh, let's see if we can if we can kind of layer this a little bit. <laughs> the problem is like if I don't like the placement of this building, then we have to switch everything around. It might make a there might be a seam, which obviously would not be good. But now, what if we do... What if, can we hide the seam? Really, I just want to cover up the top of that window. Hey, Sean, what's up, man? Hey, yeah, Happy New Year, everybody in the, in the chat there who's wishing me a Happy New Year. I'm sorry. I... I, I see it, but I can't uh, can't register everything and focus at the same time. So maybe this isn't gonna work. <laughs> I don't know. It works, but it I don't know about this. I don't know about that line there. Alternatively, we could try to bring this one down a bit. Doesn't look too too weird. We, we could always just keep it for now. Let me limit the contextual information again. Hmm. All right. You know what? Let's just forget this idea. It was worth trying, but it's something to to definitely keep in mind. Uh, what we could do, though, we could still add our track. Um, let's see. What is the what is the track that I usually use? JR. We'll just do JR. Spur. That's right. And one of these is more overgrown than the other. Hey, Zero Hero, 299. Thank you so much, buddy. Much appreciated. Have a happy new year. Everybody in the chat, let's give Zero Hero uh, a little bit of love for the donation. Thank you so much. Uh, Moose check. Nice thing is that the line is centered on the loading door. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try it again. I don't know. Parker Ellis, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Glad to have you here. Have a happy new year, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm thinking, should I just do that? Should I keep it? Now I don't know. Now I'm just, now I'm confused. <laughs> Lower it to be a single story. Now there's an idea. Let's try that. That, all right, you know what? I don't hate it. Let's get rid of one one of these. All right, that's right, okay. This might, this might actually do it. This might be what we're looking for. And then we can bring this up. 
maybe to be the exact right height that we need. This might be the solution that we're looking for. All right, I think we're onto something here. Let's bring this down just a bit. Might need to lower this loading dock a bit too, because that seems a little strange. All right, I actually think that that works. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. All right, let's delete this. I do like this, uh, I want to bookmark this one. Nope. Details, where is it? We'll just drag this one into my pick list over here. Cool. All right. Um, now we can delete that. And then we can add... Let's... Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Well, let's see. We'll throw that down. And where is this R tracks track? Might want to use this. And with this kind of, to me, obviously this is way too close to be uh, like a proper siding. To me, this looks like they changed the alignment of the of the yard here. So that's that's me. I don't know if everybody else would would uh, you know be that convinced, but uh, you know what? Maybe we'll come from the other way. Delete that. So maybe the the switch would have been down here. So actually, let me undo that. But to me, that's what that suggests, is that maybe the alignment was changed uh, when the, the yard was rebuilt or expanded or whatever. Mr. Javelin, we'll see you later, man. Thank you for hanging out. You're welcome for the uh, red texture. Happy building. We'll see you in 2020, buddy. Let's lower that. Of course, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and bury all this and do all that kind of stuff. eventually but this hmm maybe we don't use the maybe we don't use the street run track I don't think it's gonna work there I don't know is that too much of a stretch that like the building and the alignment were shifted like that, or the track alignment was shifted in this. I don't know. Maybe it looks maybe it looks weird. Carlos Charlie, what's up, buddy? Happy New Year. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, now, I don't know. Now I'm like, do I need to shift the building a little bit further away so that this does look like a proper siding? Hmm. Well, let's leave it for now. I'll keep an eye on the chat. And you guys let me know what you think. What am I doing in nine hours? In nine hours, I'm probably... What is nine hours from now? I guess it is midnight. I was like, is that going to be one? Um, I'm going over to one of my friend's houses, and we are just going to hang out, have a few drinks, have some food, and just ring in the new year like a bunch of mid-30s adults. <laughs> nothing, nothing crazy, hopefully. I think it's supposed to be pretty tame. It's going to be just four of us. It's going to be them... And uh, Mrs. A.M. and myself. That's it. So hopefully it'll be kind of relaxing. I've been on vacation for the past couple of weeks. Well, not past couple of weeks, but past week. So this is this is the last of it here. So I've been doing a lot of hanging out, relaxing. Too much uh, eating and too much drinking, to be perfectly honest. So kind of just waiting for it all to be done. That's not looking too bad. Well, yeah, I'm going to make it look more abandoned. Getting there. Let's just move the building just a little bit. We'll just... It's not going to hurt to just slide it. And it's going to be easy enough to... 
to make this adjustment. So we'll do that. Move that over to here. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing. And then that'll just solve all of our problems, I think. I think we need to move this a little bit closer to the building. There we go. I don't want overhang, though. Let's see, we gotta just move that. Can't see what I'm doing. Is that right? I think we might be good. I just gotta adjust that spline. Uh, in terms of uh, plans for 2020, I mean, it's tough. Tough to say for sure. I would really like to expand more on uh, my Patreon stuff and get that built up. Uh, my real goal would be to actually get doing train stuff and my Patreon to be able to bring me in, you know, something like 30% of my income um, or more. Uh, if I could do that, then I could do a lot more things with this game and um, maybe get a different job or change my hours at my job so that I have a little bit more time to do this kind of stuff. Um, things like that. That would be, that's my main goal, I guess, for for 2020. And I'm going to do that. I'll, I'll, I guess this is what I was hinting at earlier. Um, one thing that I'm working to do is to get more assets into the game. And... When I say get more assets into the game, I'm talking about building assets, uh, new, better, where do we want this? Um, background buildings, commercial buildings, industrial buildings, all that sort of, th all that stuff. Uh, right now, I've used my income from Patreon to buy somewhere around, I think, 80 new building assets and details so i've got like rooftop details that includes like water tanks and antennas and stuff uh along with like a 40 or a 50 pack of brownstone apartments um and i'll be converting those to work into in Tain and then in trains 2019. um so i'm trying to get more assets in the game for me to use and then i'm going to release them through patreon through a new tier that i'm going to add so that those patrons will have access to those assets and then after a few months or a year or something like that, I'll release those assets to the public for free. And then everybody can be happy and we all get new assets. And then I'm taking the money that I'm earning from doing this sort of stuff and turning it back to the game and making things better. So that's sort of uh, my vision, at least. Um, how well that that'll be executed, I have no idea. But I'm going to give it a shot. Um, a lot of the assets that I've purchased recently, they look really nice. They're the same... Uh, from they're from Turbo Squid, but they're the same assets that we used. Um, they're they're these. It's all these JR downtown buildings and all the industrial ones. Uh, so it's the same. I think it's the same guy who who made them or whatever the same 3D modeler. So I'm doing a similar sort of thing uh, where I'm gonna just start compiling all these assets that I think would work work well in the game. I'm starting with some background buildings because I think that there's a huge need for like apartment buildings and low density structures and stuff like that and instead of just straight up trackside stuff and then as time goes by I'll invest more money into whatever else um, so I don't have any way to actually 3d model and I certainly don't have the time to do it so my best option is to to uh, buy the asset and then just convert it to work in the game so stay tuned for that once I once I get going once I get that like totally ready um, and into Patreon and stuff, I'll make a video where I'll make some kind of an announcement to announce that, that there's going to be a new tier and how it's going to work and what you'll get out of it and that sort of deal. So hopefully that'll encourage more people to come to the Patreon and also, you know, be a, a, a good incentive to, uh, to do so. Anyway, uh, so I guess that's one of my main, my main goals of 2020. We'll see how it all comes together, though. This game could completely vaporize in the next couple months, and then <laughs> I won't have anything anyway, so uh, you never know. Let's 
Sorry, peeking at the chat there. Um, all right, what are we trying to do here? Let's maybe just bring this a little bit closer. More modern power for the PNP. I don't really have like a full blown idea in my head about what the roster is, like, because I, I don't know anything. I really don't know anything about locomotives and why one locomotive is chosen over another. I I pick them because I like the way that they look. <laughs> so like, uh, anything that's a, like an Alco or High Hood or anything like that that looks a little bit weird, I tend to be into. Um, I mean, I guess we could put modern power on here and do some kind of like a reskin thing um skin up something new but um yeah I, I really haven't given it any thought i'm kind of content with the the power option that i have now but um there's always room to grow and i think the more content that i could put together for this route the better because then that you know allows more people to get into it and enjoy it i think that that's what's important to me let's start getting some scenery down Yeah, I always picture the P&B as being like, you know, this sort of struggling short line. Uh, but over the years, as it's developed, that has changed dramatically. So, I mean, I, I've expanded on the route so much that it doesn't feel like the DBEV. Like, it's not like a, you know, an abandoned railroad that's just been unabandoned. It's This is like a fully fledged operation. So, uh, at this point, it wouldn't really make any sense to have... Uh, such struggling and cheap power but um i don't know so i guess maybe i can get some more stuff on there what's his face uh reggie strains has some gp60s so if somebody's looking for something more modern and big they look pretty nice um but so i saw somebody was also asking about earlier about um what the locomotive roster is and um I, again it was just sort of whatever I was feeling like I think the roster right now is just I don't even know what I have we've got oh, somebody made a SD40 T2 which I, I actually think that looks pretty good uh, I forgot who made this for me sometimes people send me stuff and I have no idea where it, where it came from or I can lose track of it we've got the S4 We've got an RS-27 in two different colors. Uh, <laughs> I started working on an RS-1, um, but I haven't developed that any further. How do I turn off the... There we go. I like the way that that looks. And then you've got the GP-60s from Reggie's Trains, which are fantastic. Uh, GP-9, GP-7. We've got the Caboose. This thing for Allegheny Steel, a B30-7, and that's it. So that's that's the current roster as it stands. So I, it's, a, it's a real mix as it is. It's, I'm sure at some point <laughs> I'll probably just end up having a P&B skin on basically everything, but... Ah, I, good question. Wisconsin Rail Productions, what is the best bridge to use with handmade textured roads? So, it's funny you ask, because right now I'm working on the Rochester build and I'm doing all handmade roads. Uh, I started using uh, a combination of things here, and I'll just do it really quick. Um, if you use... It's not this one. Of course, it's I'm doing it in Trains 2019, and this is Tane. There is a asphalt texture, I think it's this one. So what I've been doing is, and I'm just gonna illustrate this really quick, uh, using this as my like road base for the, for the bridge. And then I don't know if I have it installed on here, but there are like bridge pieces. It might actually be, it's in here somewhere. Uh, but there's these spline pieces. If I was in Trains 2019, I'd show you exactly what I was working on. But you could do stuff like this, bridge kit, side girder, etc., etc. Uh, but there is an under support. Let me see if, it, if I have it here. 
There is like a, a really nice looking support that you could put underneath. Uh, but anyway, I would just suggest like looking that up. Look up bridge kit, look up girder, um, and that sort of thing. But you could just use these, match up the height. Uh, you, you need to have the supports underneath, but you know, you could do stuff like this. And then uh, put your road markings on top of it all. It's a crap load of splines, but it gets the job done. Maybe, maybe before we wrap up today, I'll jump into Trains 19 and just show you. But you could do something like that and build your, build your bridge that way. It's super time consuming, but... Do I know how long it's going to take? Yes. Yes, I do. But I have, I'm mental, so... <laughs> This is these are the things that I that I like to do for some reason. I'll, I'll show I'll show you before we before we wrap up today I'll jump into trains 2019 and just show you exactly what I did. So st stick around till the end um, For now, let's I got to try to stay focused on what what the heck I'm trying to do here Like I said, I'm not particularly focused today. I've been dabbling around in trains 2019 all morning um, Just trying to get some stuff done, but uh, I think all this <laughs> over the last couple days of vacation and then, you know, just kind of relaxing and then eating really bad food and not going to the gym and then drinking a lot and doing all these bad things. My brain is very scrambled. So here we are. All right. Anyway, um... 71 people watching. Excellent. Most excellent. Uh, I gotta click back into that. So let's try to get some more scenery down here before I lose focus again. Um, let's grab some of these shrubs. What do you guys think about these shrubs and trees? Like, as I'm like building this area, I really like how they, how they look because they kind of, they go right to the ground. You know, they're like sort of drippy looking and spread out. And I really like that, but if I like sit and stare at this scene for a little bit, and I don't know if it's just because it's an incomplete scene and there's not a lot of contextual information around it other than, you know, something in the background there, but it almost feels like it belongs in Florida. Like it's feeling a little tropical. I, I don't know. That's just my, my thought right now. Maybe I'd need to work in some more regular deciduous trees and some pine trees and stuff like that. But um, I like these trees, but I'm just afraid that I might be placing a bunch of um, tropical trees where they don't belong, which is definitely something that I would do because I'm just not paying attention or something. <laughs> but like these shrubs too. Let's get in really close. Yeah, I, I don't even know what kind of plant it's supposed to be. Cust? Cust? Somebody knows the translation for that. Anyway, we're going to just add some of these guys in here. Kind of make this a little bit more overgrown. How long have we been streaming for? Uh, I don't even know where to... Oh, one hour. We've been streaming for an hour. Alright, so it's 3.14. I probably got another hour before I gotta wrap things up. So let's see what we can get done. I'd like to get this whole strip in between the tracks and the road scenic and, and completed in this area completed within that hour and then we'll jump into trains 19 really quick and I'll show you um, what I've been working on with the Rochester build um, it's always kind of weird for me to wrap my head around like what to show and talk about and what not to show and talk about during these live streams because this is like my content for my videos you know like the things that I'm talking about during live streams I also like to talk about during my videos and then when I go to make the videos then I don't have anything to talk about but whatever, maybe you guys don't mind because I'll talk about it again and maybe have some more elaboration on whatever it is that I'm that I'm thinking of. Sneaky Face Gaming, I saw you said hi in there. What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome. All right. Getting low on coffee. Not Not a good sign. Let's get some grass in here. Another thing... It's like I, I'm tempted to, to jump this into Trains 19, and I got a lot of people asking me about it, but it's like, man, it's a real double-edged sword. 
Because on the one hand, I'd like to. I kind of I like the new camera controls. I like the new lighting and stuff like that. But I really don't want to have to convert all of these textures and then all of this grass into all this Turfex stuff. And all the textures are going to have to be converted to PBR. And then, I don't know. Like, I just don't want to do that. And then a lot of you guys are still using Tain. So I don't want to, you know, alienate you guys when it comes time to, to release this. And be like, oh, no, no, it's 19 only. But at the same time, I kind of do like being... I don't want to say on the bleeding edge, because I'm not sure if 19 is necessarily the bleeding edge of things, but you get the idea. What's my current graphics card? I'm using a GTX 1080 Ti, right? GT GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, uh, and I think the brand is MSI. So it's the same graphics card I've been rocking for the past, I don't know, two years now. About two years. I, I like it. I don't really see any need to for me to go with anything more powerful. Um, the only thing that had crossed my mind was maybe it would help me with live streaming. But like a 2080 isn't, you know, it's pretty much the same card. And I've definitely heard rumors that the uh, that there's a 3080 probably in development already. So I don't know. Yeah, too much work right now to convert it and redo it. I'd kind of want to just finish the P&B in Tane and then release it like that. And then if we want to go back and, and update it into 19, maybe by then there'll be more assets uh, and things will feel a little bit better. Um, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. What am I trying to do here? I need a spline. That's looking cool. Yeah, and then there's still a lot of people that are out there using Trains 12 and Trains 2009 or whatever, Trains 10. But, uh... Yeah. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Uh, graphics card, let's see. The 1080 Ti, I highly recommend it. I mean, if you... I mean, it depends on what you're using right now, but if you're coming up from, like... My last graphics card was a 960. So I jumped from a 960 to a 1080 Ti, and it was like, whoa. It was just night and day. So if you're going to jump from something like that, you know, you'll... I recommend it. It's definitely worth it. It's Jersey Transit again. Guess they're running somewhat on time today for once. I think that shrub is too big. Yeah, I've been seeing the... Uh, so I live on the Jersey coastline. And there's one freight train that runs on the coastline. It runs once a week. I think it's SA, Shared Asset 31. And it runs out of uh, Brown's Yard, I think, I want to say. And then uh, runs down the coastline past Red Bank and down to Farmingdale or Farmington, Jersey. Um, but anyway, this it runs once a week. It usually comes head south around four o'clock on Thursday and it usually comes back to Brown's yard like in the middle of the night so I never see it but lately it's run back has been at like nine o'clock on Friday for some reason so I've been lucky enough to catch this freight train right out my window like once a week otherwise all I see is just the same garbage Jersey transit <laughs> commuter trains going by every day Wow, you jump from a 970 to a 2080 RTX? Yeah, that'll that'll make a world of difference for you. How was Christmas? Christmas was really good. Christmas was great for me. I uh, went up to Lake Placid, New York, and spent some time with my wife and her family. We got some big news, some big announcements. I'm going to be an uncle, so that's really exciting. Um, but it was good. We got to hang out in this cabin up in the in the Adirondacks, did some hiking and built a campfire outside, spent some time in a hot tub, all the fun stuff. It was a good, it was a really good time to get away. I needed it. I needed the vacation so badly. I've been so burnt out from work and, and everything else, so it was much, much needed. I got back and just felt so energized and refreshed. 
But now I gotta go back to work. <laughs> Actually, I had to work yesterday, but it was a slow day, so nothing, nothing too bad. All right, let's see what else we do here. I gotta hide the splines for a moment. This is coming together kind of cool. I like it. Uh, obviously, we're gonna add some more junk and debris up in there. But just starting to flesh it out. I, um, I'm liking that. I'm liking the view. I'm gonna fill this in a little tiny bit. Let's get some, let's get some grass over here. Everything's too brown and gray in this area. I got no ballast under here. I gotta ballast this stuff too. I just realized. That's all right. We'll do that last. We will do that last. Uh, maybe what we'll do is grab so many different splines all over the place. I like these. This. All right. Let's. Get rid of that one. These sort of like reed looking things. But I think that they're a little bit more indicative of like wet areas. But you know what? We're gonna just we're gonna add it anyway. Uh, tank cars, by the way, thanks everybody for the congrats. <laughs> uh, the tank cars are from uh, Jointed Rail. There's a tank car pack on there. These are all JR tanker cars. All right. Um, what else? We can add some shrubs over here, too. Maybe not. Let's add some of this dark grass. And again, I'm trying. I don't want to bog down this whole area with just a ton of crap, but at the same time, I don't know. Sometimes I really I fight with myself because I'm like, you know what? This is my project. I want to if I want to detail it to death, I'm going to detail it to death. You know? <laughs> have I ever considered buying a camera and becoming the Danny Harmon of the Northeast? You know, I have. I I've uh, I've definitely I have. By the way, I have two cameras. I have. I used to do photography and videography professionally, so I have the gear. I've got two Canon 5D cameras with a nice set of lenses. I don't have any like straight up video cameras, but two DSLRs. I've got my, um, I've got a GoPro and I've got my DJI Osmo Pocket and I'm looking into buying a drone. The problem is that I don't have the time or the knowledge to do this sort of rail fan stuff that he does. He's a very smart guy when it comes to knowledge about the rail industry and how to read signals and what train goes where and how they're named and all that kind of stuff. And that is so over my head that uh, I wouldn't really be able to, to talk too much about it. I could do, I've considered doing something similar, but more about like rail history uh, because I love history and um, I love reading history books and like reading about local history and that sort of thing. So that might be a little bit more appealing to me to, to go to like, you know, some railroad and, talk about the, how it developed and who developed it and, and that kind of thing. Um, and, you know, bring in some really nice footage and stuff like that. But um, I'm not, I don't know. I, I, right now I just don't, I simply don't have the time to do it. That's, that's the short answer, I guess, is that right now there's no time at all for me to even consider doing that. Um, but yes, I would absolutely love to do it. And in the future, if my time opens up and I have a little bit more time available, I absolutely would, would consider doing something like that. I love his videos, too. He's very, uh, very informative with everything he, he talks about. Let's move these over here. And, you know, I'm not even familiar with Florida. I don't know. He's always talking about, like, the S-line and the A-line and this and that. I have absolutely no idea what the, you know, the infrastructure is like down there, but I just really enjoy listening to his stuff. I could add some puddles. I've got these T road puddle. I don't know if they would really look good buried in the in the weeds though. Yeah, that's gonna look strange. 
Uh, what I could do, though, if I wanted to add a little bit of water over here, is I could use, like, one of those water splines, but it's fine. We don't, we don't necessarily need to do that. What I would like to do, though, is... Maybe we do add a puddle over here, though. I do like the look of these puddles. It's pretty nice. Oh, I want to do something. One thing I've seen... Uh, who is it? Felix at JR? He's got this route that is just... If you're on the forums, you've seen it. It's just detailed, like, beyond anything I've ever seen. But he's been doing this where he... He's been detailing rooftops. And I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time doing that right now. But I want to just... Just look for a second. Like, he's been doing stuff like this where... He'll take these puddle assets and like the pond scum and stuff like that and put it on top of the rooftops, which is just, it's just incredible. I don't, how do you come up with this stuff? You know, we can kind of just slide it around a little bit. Let me find one of my pond scum assets. I don't know what one is going to look good. That might be too much. But, like, th this is a good asset. This pond scum one, this is good for just, like, junk on the ground. Like, we can just sort of work this, like, right over to here. Does the in-depth detailing affect the speed of graphics renderings? Yeah, it gets, um... If if you start putting down way too much stuff, then yeah, you're gonna you're gonna put some strain on there. Like if I go over to Allegheny where there's tons of details, this one might be a good one actually. Uh, you, you'll definitely see an impact in the frame rate and everything. And then once you start bringing in you know trains that are moving and stuff like that, ugh, yeah, you could get you could really you could really bring a system to its knees doing this. I don't know. I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time doing this, but you guys get the idea that you can. You can add some junk to the rooftop and make it really gummed up and nasty looking. Goose in the caboose. Catch you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. Feel better. See you in 2020. See you next year. Um, all right. So what I wanted to do was fill this in a little bit more. Oh, my nose is itchy. Um, again, just trying to stay as focused as I can, <laughs> which is really, really problematic today. Uh, trees. Just splatter down a couple trees and then we'll go from there. I think DT is dead tree. small I'll just move these around a little bit it's probably you know what there probably wouldn't be any trees here now that I'm thinking about it let's get rid of those see you next decade yeah that's you're right that's what I gotta say that's the dad joke. <laughs> Alright, where's the shrubs that I want? Um, there's like a shrub clump that I usually use. Is it this one? I'm just kind of splat a couple of these down. Lower the height just for a little diversity. Sneaky face gaming, we'll catch you later, man. Thanks for hanging. Alright, let's spin this. Oh, you know what? Let's add some grass in here. Regular texture grass. Desperately need it. And then I got to go over this with some ballast. 
which is fine. Like if I'm spilling some of this grass underneath, it's totally fine. Because I'm going to go cover it up with ballast anyway. Dead trees and shrubs. Yeah, for sure. Kind of like what I did over on this side, I think. Or we could do, we could cheese it a little bit. Actually, what are we looking at here? Let's do this. That just gave me an idea. Let's lower this a little bit. Uh, let's get this to a height that we want. This will add some contrast to, to the scene too. So then we can, uh, we can continue on. Let's make this a little bit lower. Um, we can add some water in here and then use those little, those reed things. I think that that'll look kind of cool. That gives us some height variation also. Which is never a bad thing. Fix my road. I want my road to be level at least. Go back. And we could maybe even, does this track, is this a terrain track? Cause that might give us some, like an interesting look too. This is not a terrain one, but I don't think there is a terrain variant of it. So all right, Al, Al Hin, uh, thanks for, for hanging out, man. We'll see you next time. Um, what am I thinking? Uh, what is that? What is the sub road bed spline called? Somebody help me out here. I can't think of what it is. The, uh, there's a spline that you could put underneath and I can't remember what it's called. Like a fill. Can I just look up fill? Yeah, this actually, this is the one that I was thinking of, I think. Cause we could put this underneath the track through here. I don't know. I'm, I'm really kind of just spitballing. I've also, oops. I've also never really used this particular asset, but uh, let's see. We could just put that there. I just want to see what it looks like. May or may not be worth it. But allow us to kind of get a little bit more of a, like closer to the tracks, you know. And we'll just, we're going to have to make some adjustments. So it'll be a little bit more visually interesting than just having flat track and, you know, whatever. Embankment, yeah, okay, TB embankments, yeah. Is it, I don't know if this is a good one that, that I'm using here. It says it's a dirt road. Maybe there's some better ones, though. My shift button is not working, because I keep trying to do that where I'm placing it down, but it's not it's still connecting it. What does this one look like? Why is it snow? This shouldn't be. How did my time change? It says July. All right, something's a little wonky with that one. What's going on? Uh, I don't know why that's doing that. Maybe one that will work. Not that one either. Strange. Why are these not working? That one works. Ah, that's a nicer, that's a nicer looking embankment. Let's use that. Let's use this one. Um, let's get the height to be the same though. All right, maybe not. Let's just delete that. It's not, <laughs> it's not behaving the way I want it to.
Let's see, so we want it a little bit underneath the palace. We'll fine tune it. But let's just try to get it into place. But that might give us a little added uh, visual interest, I think. But we probably want it. I don't know what height would look best. So I'm also not sure if I love that gravel subtexture there, but maybe it's okay. If we raise this up a little bit more. And then if this was like, if this was in Trains 19, that would all be so weird, bugged out, glitchy from the, the PBR terrain and texturing and all that. Make sure it's the same height. I guess we can go up with it a little bit more. At least have it match. So I don't know, maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it looks like trash. <laughs> it's hard to say. But maybe we just need to work in some more details until we like it. But let's see, let's add, um, get rid of that. Let's grab our, these things. Nope, that's the wrong grass, I grabbed the wrong one. This is what we want. Let's just see what it looks like. Maybe we do some smaller patches. Do something like that. So it's got a little bit more randomness to it. I don't hate it, I don't think. Maybe we go a little bit lower. Add a little more depth, right? Might look a little bit more interesting. Let's see. Oh, it's so laggy when you try to do this stuff. It's so irritating. Yeah, 19, you definitely, you can't mix a lot of the textures. It's just, it gets really confused. And the fact that they made the grid PBR too, I think is even worse. <laughs> it just makes things even more confusing for the game. So one thing I don't like here is that this, this is sort of sticking out over here, but I can, I can fix that. I don't hate this, I don't think. Maybe what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of water and see if that if that makes things a little bit more convincing. And these things tend to grow like right up to like the roadside or trackside or whatever. So let's see, is there a way for me to get the height of the water? Because I have water here. There we go. And this may or may not work just because of what the water looks like, but... Yeah, there's always this... Yeah, it's not going to work. There's always that spline one too. Let's try that. Um, let me erase this water. Let's see what that looks like, river. Of course, it's a massive spline, but it's all right. It's going to be mostly hidden anyway. I have no idea where the other end of it is. Is it this? Yeah.
I don't think I hate it. I think it's okay. What we could do is add a just a little bit of more land in here to break it up. Maybe lower this a little bit. I don't hate that. Um, I think all we need to do, though, is... We gotta just get the side of the road a little bit better. It would be kind of cool if this was all wet through here and there was like a little bridge here. That'd be neat. I wouldn't mind that, but... Uh, it might be too excessive. <laughs> Let's get a couple of these guys. All right, that's that. Maybe we throw another one of these guys here. I thought I had a smaller... Oh, wait, maybe it's this. I was going to say, I thought I had a smaller looking one. I guess these guys. I thought I had another one. What does this look like? Oh, these are the... That's the... Like a hedge row. Hmm. Which I guess... Maybe we can make that work. I just don't want it to look too uh, intentional, I suppose. Too unnatural. Oops. Start mixing in some of this other stuff. That looks fine. Is it getting too busy? Might be getting too busy. Maybe we're going. Maybe we're going too far. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna leave it for now and like step away. Leave the concept. We might have to come back and revisit that idea. I don't know. Um, let me save because I haven't saved this entire time that we've been here. And then. Uh, let's see, where are we in this live stream here? We've been streaming for an hour and a half. All right, so. And what time is it? 3.44? All right, that's not bad. Um, let's get our ballast texture. I, I don't know what ballast I was using, so I have to fly back over here and grab it. I just want to throw down some ballast. And then uh, we'll work a little bit more on this area. Again, I don't know how sold I am on this, but well, we'll try it. I guess the ballast has to go over here. This is weird ballast where, like, if you rotate it, it changes shade. I guess at some point... Hold on, I started... That's the other thing. I need to switch this track out. I forgot about that. I've been doing that a little bit at a time. Uh, you want to name an industry after me on your route for wit simulations? Yeah, knock yourself out, man. I'm flattered. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I got to swap out this track. How do I do that? I need to do a bulk thing. I'm going to grab that. And then we're going to grab this. Put it over here. And then we're going to do it in selected area. And that did nothing. Let's try it again. Oh, there it goes. It just took it. It was just laggy. <laughs> All right. 
let's see if we can get it here. Sweet, sweet. Let's see if we can get this. I'm just trying to avoid getting this other main track. All right, we got that. Usually you just have to get where the spline point is. We can do that quick. All right, sweet. So now my light is looking a little bright. Let me turn this down. It's still pretty bright. How's that look? That looks a little bit better. All right, now I'm not so blown out. I can actually see a little bit better now. I guess it's getting dark outside, so the idea of this light is that it helps kind of counterbalance the light coming from this window here so that my camera doesn't just turn me into a silhouette because it's trying to expose for the, the curtains next to me. All right. Um, well, I see something I need to fix right now really quick. We're going to move this. Delete that out of there. There we go. Much, much better on that part, at least. These boxcars look pretty cool chilling there. The scenery around it looks nice. I like it. Um, let's see. Here comes another train in IRL coming outside. Uh, so, yeah, this ballast. What are we doing about this? Do we want to ballast this with something? Is there a better ballast to use? Do I just use the dirt? Kind of matches this. So I might want to do that. I don't want it to be like beautifully maintained track. It's, it is a siding, you know? So do it this way. Maybe we'll spill in a little bit of ballast. So let's see if we gotta just kinda do a couple little a couple little squirts here and there. Kinda help fill it in a little bit. Alright, that's not looking terrible, I don't think. I'll, I'll have to obviously work on this section to track in between and the right away because that looks awful. Um, but let's get this in here, I guess, quickly. It just seems like it's too much. Like, if I dial this down to the minimum, it doesn't seem like it's spread out enough, but if I go, I don't know, then it's like overbearing the, the amount of ballast that's just kind of like spread out all over the place. It's a fine balance. I've seen a lot of people doing this lately where they don't even use this ballast texture underneath anymore and have been using, I guess maybe like this TB embankment as like the sub road bed or bringing or using the terrain, uh, the track with the terrain built under it. I don't know which one that is. Oh, this one? Does it have terrain? Ah, all right. So this one actually has some terrain features. So let's do this really quick then. Since this is, that's this track, uh, let's just see what this looks like if I delete this spline. Uh, it doesn't go, does it go all the way down? It doesn't go all the way down, but it does look better. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna undo that for now. Uh, I'm undecided on that. Might might take it, might leave it. All right, um, what next? So we get that kind of squared away. 
this spot here. I guess we'll spend a couple minutes just detailing this a little bit more. Um, and then we'll switch over to Trains 19 for a couple of minutes and I'll just show you the, uh, the handmade bridge and the roads that I've been doing, which are just like, ugh, insanity. Uh, so what do we want to do to detail this scene over here? Um, we've got all this busted up stuff. I, I see a lot of times that you'll have stuff like trailers and, and just junk being stored in these areas. So that's usually what I do. Um, so let's see. I just want to scroll through this and see what I have even. These dumpsters are always good. Is there something typed in up here? No. So one thing that I'm having trouble with lately is if you look at my asset list over here, when I click on the asset in my pick list, that doesn't always go to it in the asset window. I don't know why that is. Maybe is it because the name of this changed? I think I have one placed over here. JR Waste Core Dumpster. I don't know. It's kind of strange. We'll just put the new one in. I know a lot of the JR stuff was updated uh, to the download station, so that could be what happened. The like the CUID is now like a colon one or a colon two instead of I don't know whatever it was. Let's just toss this back over here. One thing I've been doing a lot lately too that I I like, and I'm gonna try to keep it up, keep up with it, is like putting up these walls, and building in these sort of little nooks. Like I did it here, and I've got one over here. Or I got a couple over here. I got this one with this wall, kind of dividing things out. And I think I have one over here too, to divide out like the walkway and the tracks. And I like the way that that looks, so I'm trying to keep up with that. Maybe I could put that to use over here somewhere, too. But it's not necessary. I don't want to overdo it, but I do like the look of it. And I like the idea of, like, kind of making these little these little scenes that are kind of cubed off. Um, I don't really see a spot, necessarily, that I think that that would work here. So I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, so let's see. What kind of junk would be... What kind of junk would be over here? Just go through my detail list. What is this? A pipe stack? I don't think anything like that would be here necessarily, but sometimes these things can kind of be spread around. Put a couple of those down. We got packages. U.S. Army. That probably wouldn't be here. Um, I'm just going to throw some loose ideas down. Uh, sometimes you get, like, the Jersey Barriers. Let's see. Jersey Bumper. Get a couple of those hanging around. Um, barrels. I guess there wouldn't be an S. Barrel. There is, what is it, the derelict ones? Yeah, these are cool. Although some of them have like a fire and smoke effect, which is a little distracting, I think. So we can do some kind of junk like this. And then actually anything within that is usually good. Um, this series by Dinorius Redundicus, I believe was the guy's name. Did some really nice work. Uh, these are the barrels. Let's see, I don't want to put like junk junk. Oh, this is a nice building. Is that this building? Hmm. I haven't seen that one before. It looks like it's the same building. Is this is this the same building? No. Interesting. It's very similar though. Anyway. Um Let's see, I'm just looking for like miscellaneous junk garbage that might work in here. It's a cabinet. But I don't want to go, it's not a landfill, you know? Could put like some old chairs and stuff, computer parts. 
trying to get away from like the normal things that I always put down my always like my go to's, you know, the newspapers and the scrap metal and stuff like that. So if I could try to get a little bit, I guess try something different. These aren't too bad. There is like a tank that I like that I don't really use, uh, like an oil tank. It's in here somewhere. Tires are good. Is that it? No. Not a water tank. What is this? It's a water heater. I think it's an oil tank, like one of those one, like a heating oil tank for like your house. But I can't remember what the heck the name of the asset is. Doors, buildings. I think we're back at the top, right? Yeah. Let me look up oil tank. Let's see what comes up. Probably not what I'm what I'm looking for. It's something like this, but not quite. Maybe this could work. Throw that down. No. Nope. Could also put some like rooftop details on this thing if we want to. Was that the whole list? Did I go through it all? Yeah. All right. Well, this is a decent starting point at least. We can move this like over here. It's kind of bright, so maybe we don't want it like so much in the sun. Ever made a steam error route? Um, I guess technically I have. I did the Dayton and Troy, uh, which is steam error, but I, that's a route that I put together like super quick to have some content over the summer when I went on vacation. Um, so you can check that out. I think it's on the download station. Um, but other than that, if I done, and then I did the Union Terminal, which is also on the download station. So technically, yes, I have done um, some Steam Era stuff, but it's not. You, you'd have to really lower your expectations because it's really not that great. Uh, because I don't, I really don't know a lot of details about uh, the Steam Era, so. Um, I kind of just threw it together really quick. It probably could be a lot better than than it actually is, but I did take a stab at it. Uh, I'm not really wild about Steam Era stuff. I'm interested in it. I think it's fascinating, but it's not... Um... Oh, Willies, here's one of those things we were looking for the other day. That's not the one we were talking about, but it's whatever. Um, it's a fascinating era, but it's not something that I'm like totally hooked on. I think steam engines are cool and everything, but, uh, I more of a, more into like the modern type stuff or semi-modern. I was born in the eighties, so I tend to gravitate towards things that I saw in the eighties and nineties. What am I looking for? I'm looking for like a concrete slab, but something that's not so big. Uh, I don't really like that. I don't like that texture. Concrete barrier, concrete base. Fence. Yeah, the CL series. There's a lot of good stuff in here, but like the walls, the CL walls are all really nice. Actually, this is not a CL one. This is DES, but anyway, you get the point. FMA stuff. I can create wall. All right, so maybe let's just forget that idea. I was gonna put like a little base under on the on the bottom, but maybe I'm not gonna do that. Um, I do want to see something though really quick. I put, we've got these loading docks. We could throw some old loading docks on the side of this building. 
I don't know if we want to do that. Really, what I'm looking for was what? The staircase? Because we could do something like... Um, how can we make this work? I just want to try something here maybe try adding a door to this building and like a staircase so rotation 291.1 can i match that probably not it's always nice to be able to just match the angle without having to take a guess the best way is really to just get right above it and Try to line it up. Oh no, it's that bug. It's that rotation bug that they fixed. Still persisting. Can we cover out one of these stupid windows? Oh, what am I... Ah, uh, the freaking hitbox on these slime things, the uh, pond scum is enormous. This might be a complete waste of time also, but as you know, I like experimenting and trying things. So what if we just trying to add some sort of like anything, <laughs> anything to this building. So it's a little bit more interesting. Now, again, this is like getting my hopes up for certain things here. Awnings. Maybe? Nah, that is definitely not going to work. I'm just imagining like uh, something to cover the... Ah, oh, jeez. Cover the, uh, the steps there, but... I think because we changed the whole height of this building and everything, it's actually a two-story building that we made into a one-story building. Nothing's going to line up properly, so let's just forget that idea. All right. So let's grab then, um, like I said, I always like trying to find some old trailers in... This day and age, you get a lot of these containers that are stored all over the place and used for whatever storage. Um, I like using these trucks. These trailers are pretty nice and old looking. So maybe we'll just kind of squeeze one back here. Squeeze it into the corner. And we can pile crap around it and make it look like it's just been there for a really long time. This object does not allow rolling? Come on. It's a pipe. That's annoying. Everything, I feel like you should be able to roll every, every object. Like this is useless on its side like that. That would just roll away. It's gotta be upright. All right, so we're not using these. Although maybe they made a variant that is face up. Where is it? Here we go. All right, that's kind of a pain, but I guess it kind of works. Let's just throw a couple of these weird jersey bumpers back here. I always see these things like just strewn about all over the place. So I will do the same. It's really hard, man, to when you're trying to detail something, you know, like if you look at a scene when you're, you know, outside like a, a big factory or something like that. And it's got all kinds of junk and stuff all over the place. It is so hard to recreate that because all of that stuff that was put there was put there by somebody with some sort of intent. You know, like, oh, I'm just going to move these Jersey barriers over here because, you know, why did they move them there? You know, who, I don't know, but they were storing them, you know. So you have to, like, get this idea in your head of, like, all right, if you were a guy working here and they were like, all right, we got all these barrels, go do something with them. 
you know, how are you going to stack them up and how are you going to store them? And then what other kind of garbage is going to build up around it? And then how is that, you know, how do you recreate that like naturally? Because it, it does just happen naturally in real life. And to try to replicate that it is very challenging. I don't like that. I don't think I want anything on pallets because it's just not like a delivery thing. We just want this to be this is an old abandoned area. And it's going to be... There's just going to be derelict crap all over the place. So I think these we could even rotate, which is great. I'll just roll one down. Maybe we could throw some tires and stuff back there. But, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, I, when I'm on the train in the morning commuting to work, I look out the window and I'm looking at, like, all these scrap yards and all this kind of stuff in, like, Newark, New Jersey and um, different parts of Jersey going up towards work. And, you know, you'll see, like, stuff shoved into the back corner of the lot like two by fours and pieces of wood and pieces of pipe and metal and lumber and and everything and it's like somebody put that there with you know some intent in their mind like all right we're, we don't need this item now but we're gonna need it in the future possibly so we don't want to throw it out we're gonna put it in the corner and then stuff like that just builds up over time and through different workers and stuff like that so how do you how do you replicate that in in a game like this and make it look natural it's i mean it's difficult it's fun it's one of the things that i enjoy trying to do in the game but and then also what are the items you know how do you how do you pick out which items to use that are uh, going to be laying around like derelict like that you know these would be cool if i could oh all right so that answered my question i was gonna say these would be cool if i could rotate them Yes, yes, yes. So now, wow. Hello, what's? Oh, hey, uh, that just gave me an idea. We could we could board up some windows. I I'm just I don't know. Let's just see what this looks like. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I want to rotate it. Have I seen the Pennsylvania Heritage Unit or New Jersey Central Heritage Unit? I have. The uh, the PRR unit uh, rolled past my apartment uh, on my birthday. And I've, if you go to my Instagram, I've got the photo of it there. Oh, Joe, you are just something else today. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean... Yes, this is this is doable, but we need to think about, <laughs> you know, is it worth doing? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna delete that. But that's an option, I guess. Is there other pieces of wood? Oh, wait, well, we've got single pieces of lumber. Can that rotate? It does, but not quite the way you think. However, if you wanted to like board up a window, you could. Let me see something here. Oh man, we could have so much fun with this. Can we rotate that? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't even, this isn't even, I don't know why I'm doing this, but. It'd be cool if I could rotate it the other way so it was vertical, but. You know, whatever. Can't have it all. There literally is no reason to do what I'm doing right now. Oh, I keep doing that. What's the rotation on that? 282.9. So we can match that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really just playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not necessarily going to keep this, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to get experimental here. Well, there you go. I mean, if you want to do a boarded up window, you, you definitely have the means to do it. So that's kind of cool. That's interesting. Totally unnecessary. At least, at least on this building, it's not going to work because this is like flat. But I bet you, if you went to you know any of these other buildings that had um, 
that actually have like a window cut out. Like a 3D thing, like this one here. Like that window frame is actually like 3D. You could put a board on there and board it up. I don't know, that's an idea if you guys want to get experimental with stuff like that. <laughs> Willie says it's uh, usually all this garbage usually put there by somebody who's lazy. You're not wrong, you're not wrong at all. But still, it's how do you recreate that laziness? <laughs> it's tricky. All right, we're gonna just. Uh, I will do this though. I will do this. Um, I did think it would be kind of cool to maybe have some of this trash like leaning. So I don't know. That's different. That adds some some variety in my opinion, you know. Um, I think they spell tire with a Y, yeah. I don't know, we could throw a couple tires over here. Why not? Alright, well, you know what, That's this is a good start for this little area here. I do like it. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch over to Trains 19. I'm gonna save this. Uh, for a couple of minutes, and I'm going to show you guys the Rochester build uh, for a moment. And then I'm going to wrap things up because i got to start getting ready to go out tonight and do all that fun stuff. So let me switch. Where is this thing here? I'm going to switch to this card. You guys should still be able to hear me. And I'm going to switch over to Trains 2019. Um, hopefully something doesn't get screwed up in the process. So let's see. Trains 2019. And then uh, let's go into this. And I have to, oh, there it goes, okay. Let me just make sure that this is working. It doesn't always work perfectly when I switch games. So let's just I'm gonna make sure that it loads up and then we'll switch back. This is looking really bright now. I wonder if, is it making any difference? If I, if I just turn it off. Yeah, it does help. There we go. I think it's just because like the colors behind me are getting, changing a little bit. Yeah, that is making a difference. All right, uh, okay, there we go. So we're back. So who, I, who was asking about the custom bridges earlier in the in the chat? And I hope they're still here. I don't know if they're still here. Uh, anyway, so what we're looking at here is we're at Goodman Yard in Rochester. I just got this whole area cleaned up and um, and, and like ready to work on. Um, so we're just getting started here. Uh, thanks, Ian. Appreciate it. You as well. Um, so so I decided, let's just look at the F9 for a minute, the Google underlay. I decided against my own better judgment to uh, to do pretty much all handmade roads for this, uh, which is going to be a b b good or bad idea. I really haven't decided, but... Um, I just don't like the way that... I tried doing... I tried building this with regular spline roads, and I just hated the way that it looked. So I'm going to try to do this with all custom roads. Uh, anyway, what, what I'm getting at here is that when you do these custom roads, you kind of have to make your own custom bridges, too, because things don't link up exactly the way that you want, or the widths are different, and things like that. So I'll just show you really quick how I did this. Um, the main piece to use if I can figure out which spline point to grab. That's the fence. That's the thing. That's the road. That's the lines. <laughs> it's going to be probably almost next to impossible to do. Okay, so Sam Bridge. Uh, if you just grab that asset, this is what it looks like. 
Um, it it looks like the underside of a bridge to me. I don't know if that's what the intent was, but I'm assuming that uh, it's that's what it's for. Uh, so essentially what I did was... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I can go into like... Um, I can go into walk mode here. So I could actually go down here and show you. So... <laughs> It's just, it's completely idiotic and, and ridiculous. I don't know why I'm doing this, but um, anyway, I, I just laid out these bridge pieces, these Sam bridge pieces underneath uh, underneath that regular road. I'll, I guess I'll just whip one up really quick just to show you. So this is the road asphalt. Um, I laid this out first, so I knew exactly where my right away was going to be. So let's just... Try to put one together really quick. Actually, this section is two, two of these asphalt roads next to each other. Um, anyway, uh, so I keep peeking over the chat. So then what I did was I ran this next to it, matched the height, which is going to be incorrect because the spline heights are going to be different. Um, line it up to however you want it. And then set your height carefully. And then uh, match it on both sides. And then um, for this bridge, obviously, I, I put some uh, sidewalk assets on the side and then a fence. So you, you can do that. That's, you know, up to you how you want to how you want to jazz it up. There's also those other pieces that I had mentioned, the bridge bits. Um, uh, let's see if I can find it again. I actually think it's called bridge bits. So, oh, maybe this is not the right one. No, that's not what you want. Uh, girder. So somewhere in here, bridge kit. Here we go. So then you can grab one of these if you want. Set your height to whatever it's going to be. And then line it up. like so or however obviously i'm just doing this super quick um but whoops anyway that's that's sort of your your options for doing your own custom bridges uh which i don't know i like the way that it looks but man it's going to be super time consuming to do um but i guess while i'm here i might as well explain why I'm going to do that, and I'll probably explain why I'm doing this again when I make the video that goes along with <laughs> this uh, next section. Oh, also, by the way, I'm using... Uh, you have to kind of custom make your own abutments, too. So I used... Uh, what is this asset? CL wall concrete. So it's like flat on one side, this side, and then it's got a tapered edge on this other side. So it's sort of like a like a wedge. Uh, that works really well, in my opinion, for, for that. And then the last thing that you'll have to do, and then I'm going to have to do, is fill this in um, probably with uh, some kind of a terrain spline. I don't know. Maybe one that doesn't look so dated. I haven't really decided what how I'm going to do that yet, but maybe something like this. Contoured? I don't know. I'll have to look and see what my options are. I know, uh, what is it, John John Smith or John JS, I think is the the asset initials. Um, has some pretty nice terrain splines, but they're not on the DLS, so I'm trying to not use that. Um, but anyway, yeah, you'd have to fill that in somehow and do whatever you're going to do. Um, but... Double stack? Yeah, I hope a double stack can go under there. Let's check. That would be problematic. I, I thought the I thought these cars would be good enough. Um, do I have any... Let's see. Manifest. They're mobile. Yeah, I mean, if, that, if they don't fit underneath this, <laughs> and I have to, like, adjust the height again... Uh, it's going to be problematic. See, and this is what I'm talking about that, that's happening in, in uh, 19 also, is that it's pre-caching content, and then it'll be like uh, checking, rendering rendering uh, shaders or something like that. And it, 
now we froze. Oh, there we go. Let's move this up. Uh, yeah, if the double stacks don't fit under there, it's going to be a pain in the butt for me to adjust the height. It says bottom. Where's the top? Oh, like another 40 foot. I think it'll clear it. I don't think the double stacks are much higher than the than the auto racks. Yeah, I think that that should be fine. Whew. All right, so that that works. Uh, so anyway, let me explain quickly why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing. Um, when you get down in Goodman Yard here, and you go a little bit east, there's these sections of road. This is a road here that go underneath the uh, the yard. And if you go into Google Earth, I don't have Google Earth loaded up right now, but if you go into Google Earth, you'll see that it's not quite like a bridge. It's just kind of, it's more like a tunnel. Like the road goes underneath the tracks and it's more like a, it's, it, I guess it's just more like a tunnel. So I'm not going to have any way to make like a proper bridge to do this. So I'm going to be stuck hand making a bridge, you know, that'll fit. And that'll actually look right. And it's not just that one spot. There's this spot too. And then there's a couple other spots over here where the road goes underneath, underneath four tracks, you know, so I'm, I have to, I have to custom make the bridge. So I figure if I'm going to be doing that and I hate the way that the spline assets look, the spline roads look anyway, you know, obviously you can't make crazy intersections like this with a spline asset at all. So I'm just, I'm striving for some degree of realism here. And uh, this is just what I'm, what I'm sticking myself with. I'm not going to do all the roads as like handmade like this. Like the background roads are going to be spline roads. Uh, but, you know, anything that's track side like this is, is definitely going to get this sort of flavor um, where it's all handmade and, and hand laid. And I mean, this took me a tremendous amount of time. Actually, I think I spent all yesterday morning and all this morning um, trying to do this. So it did take a lot of time and I'm definitely sat there asking myself like, why, why am I doing this? But uh, I like the way that it looks, so. And at the end of the day, this is my project. So I'm gonna make it the way that I wanna make it, even if it's super time consuming. I mean, it, it, the amount of time it took for me to get this yard put together, you know, it went quick. So I'm hoping that maybe the rest of the route will go kind of quick and I could spend a little bit more time on things like these custom roads and different scenes like that. Pittsburgh Line Rail Fan, 4.99. Hi, Joe. Sick today, but still enjoying the stream. Hope you and your family have a wonderful new year. Thanks a lot, Pittsburgh Line. Uh, wishing you the same happy and healthy new year going into 2020. Hope you feel better. Get some rest. Drink some water. Don't drink any alcohol. It's not, that doesn't help. <laughs> that does not help when you, when you got a cold. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing from you in 2020 also. A lot of people seem to be sick right now. A lot of guys that I work with are sick. Uh, but anyway, the other thing is with this, when it comes to like blending the bridge and your custom road back into this, um, you can kind of just do what I did here and you've got, you know, there's a line. It's obviously a different thing, but if you look at it in real life, you know, the real roads are, are all different textures and stuff. And I'm also going to mix up the texture that's in here uh, with some more of these S Myers textures. It, don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be this. Um, the roads in Rochester are pretty terrible, so <laughs> I'm definitely going to chew them up quite a bit. But you know, for the time being, I just use this as my base texture to just get started. And uh, I'll definitely develop that further. Put some more potholes in the road. You know, there's a, some pretty wicked winters in Rochester. So the roads get really beat up between the salt and the plows and, you know, everybody with their snow tires and big trucks and whatever else. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to show you. Well, I guess while we're here, I'll just show you really quick before I dip out. Um, all of the track from where we were working last episode on uh, in Rochester here up to uh, 
up to Goodman Yard is completed. So if I pull back uh, the track work from over here, this is where uh, Fairport is. So I've got the track work done. In between these spots, I need to add, you know, switches, uh, like switch machines and things like that. Uh, here's another custom bridge that I was kind of screwing around with recently. Um, this one's a little bit more difficult because the track is on a little bit of a grade. Uh, so I don't know how I'm necessarily going to figure that one out, but I don't know. This one's, it's not awful, but it's not great either. So I'm still working out the details on that one. Um, but all the track is laid between, so it's a good few miles of trackage here. Uh, again, I don't know if the grading is exactly correct or if it's close or what. Uh, I do know that, you know, this is built up on a fill right now, and in real life it is actually on a fill. Uh, so I'm not super concerned about that, plus I can smooth out some of the terrain. Um, but it, it sort of levels out as we get up to Goodman Yard here. And... I mean, yard looks really, really tight. I like it. I like the track layout a lot. And then uh, as soon as we leave Goodman Yard, the track goes back to being totally chaotic. And, you know, how, however, the DEM, the DEM data just kind of like spilled it on there. So still got a lot of a lot of work to do on that. But a little bit out of time. I'm getting really into it. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I'm really excited to hopefully keep pushing forward with it. And maybe I'll get it done at some point. But yeah, the whole route is just absolutely enormous going out. Uh, let me get, get our orientation right. So this is heading west. So it's just stupid, stupid big. I'm really getting myself into a lot with this. Uh, and then once we get out to Buffalo, I don't know how... I might have to just not model Buffalo at all because there's so much track... It, there's so many yards and and s branches and spurs and industries. I don't. This would be a project in itself to do all this. So I don't know what's going to happen when I get that far. I might not even ever get that far, so I might not have to worry about it. But I'm going to try. It's certainly a learning. Uh, I don't know. I'm learning a lot in the process. Like if I have to come in here and like straighten out all this track. Like I did for Goodman Yard, like that's going to take me an eternity. But whatever, I'm trying not to think about it too much. Go back to Goodman Yard. But, you know, if I can get this much, you know, what we're looking at here finished and scenic and stuff in the next couple of months, I'll, I'll be feeling pretty happy about it. It's going to take a long time to do this anyway, so I'm not trying to rush it. Uh, but anyway, I think that that's going to do it for me for today in the final stream of the decade. 2019 and the 2010s um i gotta go get myself ready for this evening i gotta make a trip to the store get some food and some drink and that sort of stuff and then i'm gonna head out for the evening to uh enjoy whatever last little bit of my vacation i have left uh and hopefully be able to get back into some trains tomorrow um but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys have a happy and safe and healthy new year's eve and new year's and uh Thank you for a really great 2019 and 2018, 2017, however long I've been doing this for has been excellent. So, oh, my thing's still working. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I uh, had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too. I'll see you guys in 2020. Have a happy new year.